Hi guys, welcome to another Learn Electronics Repair video. I just want to have a quick chat today about Discord. So Learn Electronics Repair is now on Discord. It's been on there for about two months and it's turning out to be a very interesting and fun place to be. So um, I'd just like to say everybody is welcome to join uh, the Discord server. It's completely free. And I'm guessing some of you have probably never used Discord, so you might be a little bit uncertain as to what we have there. So I'm just going to show you very quickly around the server and you'll see what you can use this for and how it's going to help you to repair things. So if you just go to the channel, you can either go to the the uh, description on any of the recent videos or just go to about and this you will find the link here to the discord so if we just uh, copy and paste this link uh, we can go straight to the discord server so if you've not been on discord before basically it's like a cross between a forum and a chat room that's the best way i can describe it you can see at the moment there's 65 people online it's now 10 to 3 on a Friday afternoon, so it's an optically busy time. There's 405 members already, and the link will take you to the invite. So you can now just click on invite and continue. Uh, you can download an app to use this, but you can also just use it directly in the browser. Okay, so this is the Discord server. And then here, you'll find down the left-hand side all the various sections. So we have a welcome section. And this is where people just come and say, hi, they tell us about them. Um, all you need to register is just an email address, uh, choose a name, and, and that's it. Um, various sections, videos. This is where I mention if sometimes if I'm publishing a new video, not always. And there's lots of other sections on here. Uh, so server map show you a way around it. <coughs> uh, but we have basically sections on general equipment repairs uh, board view software gpu repairs and so on the schematics on here lots of schematics uh, there are sections on laptop repair power supply repair retro computer repair and so on and when you come to a uh, section you'll notice that some of these are actually bold so that's showing the areas where there are new posts since you were last on here. Um, so we can just have a look at one hot air. Okay, so there's some new posts in here. And you can see it's just a long chat. People are chatting away, asking questions and so on. And you can too. So, you know, I mean, this is me recommending a particular type of soldering I handle um, and such like. Uh, and other people, yeah. So people posting photographs. You can put photographs on here. You can link videos on here. You can even go to live chat on here. There's many things you can do. You can message members just by clicking on them and choosing to send them a message. Um, let's go down a bit further. Schematics. So here we'll find plenty of schematics. And these are all free, guys. Now, the red line here is showing that since I was previously logged in on this account, this is not actually my main account. Um, I'm at the office at the moment. So... I haven't logged on this account since December the 4th, and these are new since then. Okay. Um, let's go further down. What else can we find? We can, we can talk about lots of things here. Retro gaming. But the main uh, point of the Discord is that you can ask for things. You can request schematics. Uh, you can talk about things that you're repairing and post photographs. And this is a very active place. Look, you can see... These guys are moderators. There's three on at the moment. All these members are currently logged in. Yeah. This is me on my incognito account, not the main learning electronics repair account. And these are members who are offline. But you can you can uh, you can actually choose to, to message. Just right click. You can friend people. You can message people. And that's the whole uh, joy of this. So really, Discord is a great place to come just to talk about repairs on the learning electronics repair discord ask questions on here it's very interactive the chances are as soon as you post something it's very likely someone will come and start to discuss that with you right away we have lots of beginners on here and we have lots of experienced guys on here as well so you've seen around it it's a simple thing to use uh, come and join in join the fun I'm sure anything you're trying to repair, this will make your life much easier. And all I'm going to say is, 
come and join us yeah and i'll see you all soon on the learn electronics repair discord okay guys that was it an extremely short video ciao amigos and see you soon